this morning, I'd like to pose a few ideas to you in the light of the scriptures and the beautiful reading from St. Augustine. Augustine, in his writing, said, we look in the wrong place. Everything that we want in life, everything we cherish in life, everything we look forward to, sometimes we're so distracted with earthly goods, with the world around us, and with our own self-centeredness that we don't realize that the Lord, in his gentle way, is calling us into a very intimate, deep relationship. Augustine said, he is here within us. And so we don't have to travel far. We don't have to look here, there, and everywhere, because he is within us. As Catholics, you know, it almost sounds Protestant, doesn't it? Do I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, isn't that what Catholicism is all about? To help us develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? That's what maintains us in our spiritual life. This is what gives us the fuel to live the spiritual life. And again, it sounds too Protestant. Evangelization that was coined by Pope Paul VI and said, yes, this is part of our tradition. This is part of scripture. This is part of our life. We have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Only with that relationship will we realize that every one of us, through our baptismal commitment, has been called to discipleship. And that takes on so many different forms. That reading from Paul, some are called to be prophets, some are called to be preachers, some are called to be teachers, some are called to do just the ordinary things of life. But no one, no one is free of the identity of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. And that can only begin when you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That relationship for me happened when I was ordained a number of years, a deep spiritual relationship on an eight-day retreat up in the Boston area at a Jesuit retreat house, Eastern Point. It was one day when my spiritual director directed me to the scriptures the scriptures were this. Consider the lilies of the field. They never spin nor toil, and yet Solomon in all his splendor is not as beautiful as that girl, a creation of God. Just that little scripture Pray over it all day. You say, how can you do that? And then to experience the living God's presence in my life in a very beautiful, intimate way where I experienced the love of God and his love for me. I wanted to run and yell and scream I thought I was like losing my mind. It didn't last for a long time, but it was something that sustains me again and again and again. Can you tell me of an experience?
experience like that. Can you tell me that yes, you have personally experienced the presence of God and the love of God? The spiritual life is not there to work on that kind of situation. It happens in God's time, not in our time. And so we enter into that spiritual life to have that intimacy. And that gift was there, but it might never occur. Stop and think. A woman like Mother Teresa, who admitted in her diary after her death, that for over 50 years, she never experienced or felt the presence of God in her life. And yet she maintained that spiritual life despite it all. Talk about the desert of the spiritual life that she experienced. And yet she was faithful and true to that, our lover, Jesus Christ. And so, think about it. Have you ever had a personal experience? Don't look for it. Don't push it. It won't happen. It's in God's good time. But, maintain your spiritual life and have that intimacy with Christ as best you can. He in his own good way, at some time, at some point, will say yes. You are my beloved. You belong to me. You are my disciple.